Hi, in this video session, I would like to introduce new features of peer-to-peer -peer replication or P2P in SQL 2008 and how to set it up. In SQL Management Studio, there is the two instances here, which is SQL 2008 underscore 1 and SQL 2008 underscore 2. And I would like to set up the replication system on the ticket sellers underscore 1 in first instance and ticket sellers underscore 2 for the second instance. So the changes on either of the database will be uh, replicated to its peer. So what I do now is I create the distribution database both on the first instance and the second instance. So I just I click the replication folder and I choose the configure distribution. Okay, move to next. Yeah, uh, by default, I will make the current distributor is the same with the uh, the current server, which is the first instance. So I just receive the default. I can move to next. I accept the default value in the snapshot. And the database name for the distribution is I is it distribution, but uh, you can change the other name. It's fine, but in this case, I just accept the default. And the publisher is same with the distributor, which is in this case uh, first instance. Okay, next. Okay. To check, uh, open the system database and click refresh. So the distribution database is created on the first instance. The same thing also. Uh, applies to the second one so I just do the same same step with the previous one I choose configure distribution and because I accept all the default value on the wizard I just directly choose finish button okay. now I just check on the system database and click refresh now the distribution database also created on the second instance the next step is I would like to uh, publish the database object that I would like to replicate on ticket sellers underscore one on the first instance which is in this case I would like to publish a uh, sales table so what I do now is I just go to the local publication and choose new publication Go to next and the database for the replication is ticket sellers underscore one Go to next and because p2p replication is special type of transactional publication i choose the second one and go to next and i would like to replicate sellers table so i just tick this one and go to the next no filtering no snapshot and i configure the account security account for the snapshot agent in this case, uh, my local account. Okay, I move to next. Okay, create the publication, and I give the name for the publication. So I just name it Sales Park. Okay, and just finish. Okay, as you see, a new publication item is just created, but by default, peer-to-peer uh, -peer replication is not enabled for the new created uh, publication. So what I do is I just left click and choose properties, go to the subscription option, and you see here allow peer-to-peer -peer subscription is still false, so I just change it to true, and I click OK. So it means that I already uh, enable peer-to-peer uh, -peer replication on the publication. So after that, I just configure the topology. So I choose here. Next. So on the first instance, I choose sellers pub publication. I, I choose next. 
here only uh, first instance exists with here originator ID is one so I add other instance which is the second instance yes connect ticket sellers underscore two and because here orig originator ID is already used for the value one I just assign to another value for the ticket sellers underscore two just okay oh uh, I, I forget to mention that if I tick this one, connect to all display node, it will uh, connect. Uh, it will connect between uh, the second instance with the first instance. So, as you see, I click OK. You see this uh, arrow connect between the second instance and the first instance. I move to next, and I configure the lock reader agent security. And the setting on uh, the other tier is same with the with the item here. So I just just next. The same steps also applies to distribution agent security. So I just assign an account. And then the second setting is same with the first one. So I just pick this one. Okay. Okay, I move to next. Finish. Just wait. Uh, just wait for some time. Okay, close. Uh, as you see, the new publication also created on the second instance. So in this case, the replication is already uh, set up, and I would like to begin the transaction on the first instance. So I just click here. Uh, you see, there is the uh, the database activity uh, to the sales table on the first instance, and it is expected that the change the data on the first instance will be replicated on the second instance so what i do is i fire up the script click execute and i move to the monitoring queries with, uh, for the first instance here and the second instance so i just execute you see uh, any changes on the ticket sellers on the first instance here is will be replicated on the second one uh, here, so I just choose execute. Okay, the record on the s on the second instance will catching up to the first instance. So let's uh, let's say I would fire up the data database activity on the second instance here, similar to the first instance. So I just fire up execute. Move to the monitor queries and I execute again. As you see, there is the database activity is uh, such as uh, insert on the second instance, and it will be created on the first instance, which is ticket sellers underscore two. Just execute. Okay, just execute. Okay, uh, now the replication P to P uh, system is working. Now I stop this. Uh, database activities on the first instance and also in the second instance okay go back to the monitor queries and execute as you see when the, the uh, uh, when the, there is no database activity on both instances the number of record will be identical between uh, between first instance and second instance so go back to the presentation here is I summarize the steps that I do in the demo, and basically for the next, for the subsequent notes will be same step with the with the uh, with the summary here.